Howdy folks, welcome to episode 10. Today we are going to do some more HV stuff and in that effort I wanted to show you I crafted a bunch of stuff here and here is the stuff we got from the last adventure so I'm gonna throw that stuff in here but yeah we've got um, we've got some HV parts and we'll grab all that and I got an artillery and plasma turret so yeah I'm actually going to build a new hovercraft in order to use these parts because I don't want to take the old one apart in order to put an artillery turret on it so yeah I'm just gonna let those parts go and so I also did some changes out here that I wanted to show you and so yeah we did I basically just expanded this is all I did and I put on a ramp on the side here so I can get up here and just so I can park the HV in a nice place and also I've got a hole here because now that we've got enough power coils like I can also do is I can make a repair bay so I'll show you guys how that works and this is the base repair bay so it's got to make some power coils it's got to make some electronics and then it can make the repair bay and there we go and let me grab these while I'm at it and the other thing that we can craft which is really cool is the auto mining devices and so yeah we've got you know quite a few power coils that we can make now and let's see here's our zascosium so we can put that there and so yeah we can we can do 44 so what 22 power coils so I think I'll make three of these mining devices and get those going did it only take two of those there we go okay so yeah we're gonna make three of those and let those craft and we're gonna go put this repair bay out here and we'll show you how this thing works and so we'll put this up here there we go and we'll take our hovercraft which <laughs> is, is rocking for some reason Okay, oh, it's because I put that in and it recalculated the collisions. But anyway, so we'll look at this, and so we see all of our damage here. And, uh, you know, it's 98%, so we've got some of that. And also, last episode, I totally forgot to put that block back, the one that I had broken. So I did repair, replace that one. And so, yeah, what we can do here is we go over this way. And when we park this thing over the repair bay it will start repairing it and so now we should be able to see and you can hear that yep we can see in the repair screen that this stuff is repairing and the numbers should be going down hmm interesting let me see if I have to exit and come back in interesting that's a bug the numbers are not updating in real time as it changes but as you see everything is repaired all the blocks are repaired all that stuff so we can go park this over here again and we can start building our new hovercraft over here so we'll get our starter block out and see if we can whip together a quick hovercraft and let's see we'll put our steel blocks here okay so we're just gonna do a standard little thing let's see and I want to put uh, the generator and fuel tank we'll put the fuel tank here we'll put the generator here because it is going to need to have some length to it so we'll do this if it'll let us <laughs> and it's not going to is it okay come on all right that's fine too and we're going to put on the RCS. There we go. If it'll let us put it there. I know it just, it just popped in there for a second. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have the RCS. We have some thrusters and stuff. So what I want to do is I want the cockpit raised up. And so usually I put the cockpit on as one of the very first things. But I'm not going to do that this time. And I think we will do this and this. And then we're going to put our hover engines underneath that. And so probably actually going to have to do something to get the hover engines underneath that. But yeah, so we're going to put the artillery turret up on 
a platform back here. So, and this is, let's see the size of this thing again, is five. Okay. So we need a one, two, three, and two, three, three, four. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Two, come on. <laughs> Let's see. Four. There we go. Like that is, it looks like that's going to be the side. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that is truly huge. Okay, <laughs> that is awesome. All right. So we're going to put our art artillery turret up here. And that is so cool. And we're going to put our cockpit down here. That will fit underneath there, right? Come on. Is it going to let me? There we go. Like that. All right. So we're going to put our cockpit there. And we're going to put the other, the plasma turret. So the plasma turret is on here in order to defend the ship from drones and stuff. And I should probably move that core as well. Because that's not a good place for that. Considering this is supposed to be a little bit more of a ship that can handle danger. And so let me... Let me queue up a core here as well so that we can do that. And here's our auto mining devices, which we'll be able to take out with us and put put out. And so let's see, we have cargo boxes, we have the core. And so let's see here where we can put this stuff. We can put our ammo box and we can put the core down here. And we can put our cargo box on the other side. There we go. And yeah, surprisingly, I'm not actually building with the <laughs> with the symmetry axis, because as I like to say, it allows you to double your mistakes. <laughs> but yeah, let's get our thrusters on here as well. And so we need we need thrusters. Where did I put them? I know I have thrusters. I know I crafted some. Are they in the constructor? They're not in the constructor. And they must be in one of the cargo boxes under building supplies, maybe? No. Apparently, I misplaced them somewhere. Did I put them in adventure equipment? Did I put them in here? I'm not seeing them. Apparently, I didn't make the thrusters. And <laughs> Okay. I know I had that. That's really weird because I know I had extras. I had small thrusters and stuff. So, yeah. Let me see. Let me check again. Thrusters. 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 No. Survival stuff. No. Extra junk. No thrusters here. I know I had small thrusters like two small thrusters and four large ones and they're not in my inventory they're not in any of the cargo boxes did I manage to put them in the food processor or something <laughs> no okay well this is really annoying let me see if, if they're in the cargo box here maybe and not that one and there they are okay there's one thruster I could have swore I had more than that I really I I was pretty sure I had more okay well apparently I need to also produce some more thrusters here so let's get three of those and alright so we'll get our rear thrusters on here anyway and Let's get this one. And wow, that's an interesting visual bug. That's new. <laughs> Apparently the thrust uh, thru thrust sprite, sprite or graphic was replaced by something. Okay, and I'll probably want to put two of those on here. So let me get another one or two of these made. And we'll do this, and we'll put 
thrusters like this and we're gonna put another one there and then we need some thrusters going out to the side as well and so I think we'll go here and here and then we're gonna need some retros so why don't we do this and we'll use our two small ones now this thing is not going to be as maneuverable as the other the other hovercraft that we just built because the idea behind this one is going to be that we are going to go out to the edge of a POI's range and shoot it from out of range so let's get our thrusters here out of the constructor and here we go so let's get this one put on here and there and there okay so we should have a functioning hovercraft now other than the engines that's the other thing we need to put on here so why don't we get these blocks get a couple blocks out here because yeah I want to make this thing stable and so we'll go like this and uh, yeah I'm not sure what's up with the little wobbliness on this now but yeah we're gonna go like this and I really should put up an axis for this so I don't have to duplicate this on the other side and okay so we're gonna do go like this and that and then we're gonna reverse that so like <laughs> wrong axis there we go okay so like that and that and then we're gonna put our hover engine underneath there if we can if we can fit it like that there we go okay and the other thing is we're gonna need to get this so let's get this lifted up if we can by doing this the block in there no is it not gonna let us place one down okay let's try this again oh it did it just didn't huh okay well that's not good and <laughs> nice okay well I'm gonna have to place these two hover engines here and here for right now and we'll hope we can get this out of here there we go okay and we'll take these off again or we'll leave them on there actually and turn this thing back off and let's see if now we can sit that <laughs> okay I guess those are level hmm all right so let's get yeah we do need to get these down at this level so let me take these off and remanufacture them so we'll get this stuff put in and we'll get our hovercraft engines there we go and there's our other thruster which we don't actually need right now and there's one and two okay so now we can place our hover engines and do I want them up here or do I want them back one is the question and yeah I think I'm gonna put them up here and then we'll build a little thingy to match that so we'll do this and we'll get something put on here like maybe that they don't have a thick one like that do they hmm okay so how about we do this and that and and let's see if we can get this to sit on there is that not going to fit 
Let's try raising this up then. We'll see if we can raise this up and get this to work. So, yeah, there we go. All right. So there's our little... <laughs> Our little hover engine holders and I should probably raise these up too but let's see how it rides so we'll turn our axis off so we can see and let's see what kind of see what kind of man at plasma turret is like right in my face isn't it that's kind of obnoxious okay but yeah let's let's take a look at this thing it moves it moves fairly nice it moves fairly well Cool. Okay, it's fairly nimble because it's actually not as heavy as I expected it to be. It's only 9 tons. We've got 9 meters per second on each side. And yeah, that's actually really nice. Okay, and we might even put a boost engine on it, although that'll just slow it down a little. And I don't think we'll need it. But yeah, that looks like it is a functioning hovercraft. And I probably should get some blocks along the side here just for protection. So let's get these. Let's start with this. And we're going to go out to here. So like that. And I probably should have put the axis back on, but we can do this. Okay, so that's from here to here. Okay. And we'll get the axis back on. And because I want to do something here maybe this and I am not there we go okay so like that and that okay so we got a nice little divot there and then we can do the same style over here and I just ran out of blocks didn't I okay <laughs> All right, well, let me make a couple more blocks and finish this thing up and paint it and everything, and I will be back in just a second. Okay, guys, we are back, and I went and got all my adventure equipment here, and so we've got the nice little hovercraft finished up here. I stylized the little engine holders and everything, and the artillery turret is pointing this direction because when it's facing forward, um, you actually get you can't get out of the cockpit on the top like this you actually end up underneath it So I left it parked this direction. So yeah, we're gonna try this thing out and It helps if I actually leave it turned on instead of turning it off and yeah So we're gonna take this thing out and we're gonna go see what it can do. So I need to find a POI Let's go find us a victim, right? And we've got we did that one. We did the drone base We've got that there's the abandoned mine, which doesn't have anything. Talon Guardian Village. So there's this Epsilon outpost here. And I think there's that. And there is also this spaceport down here. And yeah. So I think that's the two that have guns that are remaining. So yeah, why don't we head over by the Talon Village. And is that closer this way or that way? It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell which direction it is. So yeah, let's just start heading out. Let's just head out this way. And we'll get going there. And so yeah, I'm going to go over to the, the POI. And I will meet you guys over there in just a minute. Alright guys, we have arrived and the POI is just ahead and it was actually shooting at me just a second ago and I had to back off again. So it is just over this hill somewhere and actually it's kind of annoying because I can't see where it's at. So yeah, there is yeah, a drone that's showing up at 350 meters or so. So yeah, I think I'm going to see if I can get behind these rocks maybe. And... Uh, yeah, see, it's right over that way. Right over that way. And <laughs> the question is now how to, uh, yeah, how to get a shot off. There it is, 344 meters. So, yeah, we're going to have to do something about this. And it looks like the things are not, it looks like the drones at least are not uh, going to attack. 
And so now the trick is again that this thing is going to aim at the core and so if we actually keep the core behind behind the rocks but leave the artillery up in range then we can actually yeah there we go okay so let's see if we can get this to happen so we're gonna go into our control panel now the trick is if we're in the middle of playing around in the artillery thing when this thing starts shooting at us it's gonna take it's gonna take a while to actually get out ah like that like that no 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 T T no 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 get out get out Uh, yeah, minigun. Come on. Nice, nice. Please tell me you didn't blow up my artillery turret. Okay, and where's the other drone? There he is. Okay, this thing has a range of 119, 179. Yeah, he's up there. Okay, let's repair this thing <laughs> while we have a chance. And yeah, that was exactly my concern was that this thing was going to get shot at while we were <laughs> while we were stuck in the turret because it's like it doesn't want to leave. Okay, so let's see what got hit. What even got hit? Did anything get hit? Did anything get hit? I don't see any damage. Okay, so let's check. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we have any damage. We have 98%. The cargo box took damage. Okay. That's really weird. Okay, so let's see. Where's the cargo box is over here? All right, so it hit us over here on this side. All right. So let's try this again and see if we can get in the artillery turret. And I need to set this one to alien, so this will defend us. And let's go to the artillery turret. And see if we can see if we can find this thing. <laughs> Artillery turret is trying to, uh, yeah, to do something here. There we go. Yep, apparently it shot down the thing. Okay, so let's see if we can get this working and it is not shooting at us okay so we get our artillery turret again and we'll see if it will let us shoot that way I'm not sure and the, the only problem with the, this is the problem with the artillery turret is it takes yeah it's like 20 seconds I think I think it's 20 seconds between shots it's something absurd oh nope uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of the... Seriously? Come on! Get out! Man. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a slight problem. <laughs> Alright, this thing is just gonna get destroyed, and we're gonna have to walk home. Nice. Yeah, there's no way to move that thing once once you get... It, it's like it doesn't even want to let you out of the turret. Come on, man. <sighs> okay, that's just mean. All right. Well... <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to be it for episode 10. I guess we'll try again. <laughs> I guess we will try again in episode 11 and see if we can get a better design going. So yeah, join us then. We'll see you in episode 11. Later.